Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a quick and easy way of selecting skin pretty accurately and also then of how to adjust it fairly easily with just a curves layer. So first of all, let's go to the stock here and we'll search on faces and look for a nice characterful image. Let's take this person here and thank you to the photographer on for this. And what we see here is this guy and uh, quite a wonderful bright eyes, aren't they? they were really lovely. And this face full of character. I think it's a little bit on the red side, maybe a bit on the orange side. So let's see what we can do. But first of all, we've got to select the, the face there, the skin. So the way to do that, very simply, and it's based on the principle that skin is a fairly consistent hue. I think it can be light and dark, but the underlying hue is often the same. So if I go to the masks here, right click that and go hue range mask, and then go to the picker, I just click somewhere in the picture so you can see where it is now. You can see where to click, so it's somewhere like that on the cheek. I can play with these to see what it's selecting and add or adjust it to to suit but that seems to be about consistently right there what i also need to be concerned about is because i'm going to blend this back in again see there's a hard edges and you'll be able to see those so you want to blur it so use the blur radius here on the live hue mask and that just softens those edges so it'll make the blend back somewhat more invisible so let's go back out again. There's some other areas being picked up, so we just want to get those off here. So let's just open this up here. So I want to put another on the background there, another mask layer. And so I can then paint on that in black. So I go to a paintbrush and I've got that in black. So just increase the size of the brush there and then just paint on here to remove those areas here which are effectively being selected and just go like this for this i've got here there that's about right so a middling hardness so you can go fairly close without sort of like over over doing it or hitting bits you don't want to hit do it in bits as well and sort of click and let go so that you can always do a control z and only go back a little bit but i think that's okay that will do for us for now what you might also want to do is like go into here, reduce the size of this brush and do the eyes because you don't want the eyes to be coloured. You want to be able to keep that nice bright eyes look. So just take out here so I don't want any more adjustment on the eyes and certainly not with skin tone. So that's probably about it. We could go in further later on because this is nice and dynamic. No, I know we need a, an adjustment for this, so I can go back to the background layer there, go to adjustments and to curves. And then I want to apply these onto this, so I can just drag these onto the curve layer like that and open that up. They've changed order here, but I think it doesn't matter because if I drag this up and down, you can see here that's the only bit that's being selected. So what do we want? A nice less curve. So bring the lights up there and bring the darks down a bit to add a bit more contrast to the face. And then the colour here is, is it's particularly gone rather red here, isn't it? So I just go down here, click on the weather master, go to the red channel there, and I just pull this down in the middle here, and it's just going to take those reds out. If I go the other way, too much red. This way, it takes out red, actually adds the opposite of it. But that's just about right. So just get the right amount. Of course, you could be sensitive when changing skin colour. So I'm trying to make it more like an original picture than to make any other changes. Might also look at blue because you get blue and yellow. So one, one way is more blue, the other is more yellow. But this is just going to need take just a tiny tweak. Which way do you want this to go? So maybe just in there like that. Let's try the before and after. There we go, just kind of a subtle effect to make that 
I think, a more original colour. So there we go. That's very, very simple. We've just got the curve adjustment here with a hue range mask and another mask to take out the bits that we don't want. And that lets you select skin quite quickly and is a useful way of doing it. Anyway, that's it for now and thank you very much for watching.